Hi, I'm Gloria Condon, and I'm here at the GWC Artwork Gallery at 328 East Patrick Street. Just want to ask you to do us a favor. If you like our, our video, please like, comment, and share the video. Well, I've been here since uh, 2017, and one of the people that has been here almost from the very beginning is my friend here, Phil Grove. Yes, I'm Phil Grove. I do art and photography. And I've been bringing things in here, all kinds of things, in the Glorious over these last few years. She lets me experiment with a lot of things I'm trying, so this is a good place to start. Well, it's hard to get artists to make a, a commitment, so uh, we do change the artwork here each month on the main floor. Now, we do have two floors of art here. Uh, hopefully, you'll get to meet some of our other artists and also some of our people who have come in each month to enjoy what's here and to purchase some of our work. Whenever our artwork is to be changed, I can always count on Phil. He is so unique in his photography. He uses many different things, and I'll let, you, uh, let him describe it for you. Yeah, I work in both art and photography, so most of my art really is derived from my photography as well. So I go a lot of different ways. Once I take a photograph and I use it for a derivative work, and it could be anything derivative from that photograph. It could be something that looks like a watercolor, or it could be a painting, as this is acrylic painting of, of a photograph. And then I also try some other styles like uh, sketches as well, sketches uh, from photographs. So I combined a lot of different things over the years. I've been doing this for like 65 years, so you'll see a lot of different things as well. So uh, I produce everything from, uh, of course, sketches to uh, oil, or oil and acrylic paintings from my photography as well. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to one of my frequent customers, and it is Wendy Barth, and she has, uh, would like to discuss her paintings that she bought. Um, yes, this is one of my favorite galleries. I've bought a number of pieces here, some of Gloria's work and then some by a number of different artists. Most recently, I purchased one by this lady, Jean Finkelman, here. All of these paintings are hers. I really like this rabbit here, but I did decide in favor of a magnolia blossoms, kind of similar to this study of purple flower, but in fact it is magnolia. Hi, I just want to introduce you to one of my uh, artist friends, and uh, she does the most beautiful pastel painters. It's Elaine Rogue. Mostly a landscape painter, and I prefer pastels. I like the color, the vibrant color in pastels. I've been lucky to display here at Gloria's uh, um, gallery. Beautiful gallery in downtown Frederick. And this is Elinda, uh, Wendy Barth, and she is one of those people who was smart enough and lucky enough to buy one of Elaine's pastels. Yes, indeed I did. And my husband and I are enjoying it very much. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to Jen Lockie. She is one of my favorite oil painters, and she's also a paint air painter, too. So this is one of her examples of her work. Yeah, th th this is an example, because I love to paint barns, especially around Frederick County, and um, spent most of my pa paintings are uh, barns or landscapes in Frederick County, and I paint in oils. I recently have gone off the barn circuit and painting vegetables, just for fun. They're whimsical due to an, a handicapping condition I had last summer, I had to sit, and my friend Elaine that you just heard had brought all these vegetables up for me to paint, and we've been painting those together. And we have very different styles. She's pastel, I'm oil, and you, you'd be very much amazed about the difference in our uh, paintings at the end. Yes, I will be a witness to that. They both did uh, two of the uh, painting each of the same barn, and I didn't capture that it was the same barn. So <laughs> it does show that uh, we do have different lenses in our eyes. So, hi, I just want to make sure that you folks help me out by um, liking my Facebook page and uh, also watching it for the events that come. We have a Meet the Artist each month event on the first Saturday. We also have a scavenger hunt, which I'm telling you, the people that come to the scavenger hunt, they really luck, love it. That means that sometimes they have like as many as 19 different shops downtown that they have to stop in and each of those shops offer some kind of a gift so that if they check out all the different stores, 
they get a prize at the end of the, of the, of the uh, event. So that's always fun. But we also, on the Meet the Artist event, the featured artist each month uh, comes to uh, stay at the gallery with me to meet the public from noon until 4 o'clock. And these two ladies both were a featured artist together, and we had this place hopping uh, <laughs> with um, uh, food and fun and friends and a lot of activity. And we do this with each artist. We have a little uh, refreshments, mm -hmm. and uh, these ladies can give you a little bit of a hint as to what it's all about. Uh, when Jen and I were the featured artists, we had a selection of our barn paintings, all barn paintings. We had the gallery packed with friends and family. We had great food, great laughs. It was just the best time. It was first Saturday from 12 to 4, meet the artists. And that's always the first Saturday of the month. First. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a lot of fun. I was very nervous about having a gallery opening. But when these people came in in this gallery, you could not turn around without bumping into somebody. Actually, it was a little difficult to see the art sometimes. We had to say, move back a little bit so you can see the art, because that, that was the purpose of coming. But it was a fun event mm -hmm. for everybody. So I want you to be sure that you review our Facebook, because each time we try to have a little video of some of the activities that are going on in here on that particular uh, day. But it is a wonderful time to come and talk to the artist that has had the, the willpower to put their art up, because sometimes it does take some nerve, because you are always open to criticism and to praise. Mm -hmm. So. It, I absolutely love having the gallery and being able to uh, support the artists in the community. And I take all kinds of art from um, photography, oil paintings, pastels, any kind of art. The only thing I ask, no political, no nudity, and, and no religious. So any artist is welcome to exhibit their work in, a, in my gallery. We have an annual event in Frederick. It's sponsored by the Frederick County Landmarks Organization, and it's the Barnstormers Tour and Plein Air Paint Out. It's the second Saturday in June, and every year it occurs in a different section of Frederick County. And it's a wonderful event. It's uh, family friendly. Uh, come out and have a tour of the barns. There's docents at every barn, and you can watch Plein Air Painters painting at the farms, and at the end of the day, we have a sale and a show of all the artwork that was done that day. It's a fabulous event. Everyone loves it, comes out every year, so hope you can get that on your calendar. And for this year, and hopefully for the long as I have the gallery open, that I will be uh, offering an opportunity for those people who haven't, the, which the date is not convenient for you to be able to go to the uh, uh, show and the auction, that they will be, these works will be here at the gallery. And in, just to let you know that because it is a landmark foundation function, the gallery is offering 10% of any sales to go back to the Landmark Foundation. So do come out if you can't make the event for mm -hmm. the ladies that are, both of these ladies are painting. Uh, if you can't make the event, please come out. Also, we're going to do something hopefully this year that we haven't done in the past. Any photographer who gets the band, wristband and indicate as paid for an admission, we are going to offer the opportunity in August for them to be our featured artist here at the gallery. Because needless to say, you can't uh, take the photo and get the image the way you want it to be able to frame it and everything for that day. So we're going to offer an opportunity here for the photographers who are, uh, go out on the day of the function and take their images as well. And again, 10% of any sales will be going to the Landmark Foundation from the gallery. Uh, what the, uh, the uh, artists do is up to them uh, what they want to donate, but we are doing 10% of any sales. Just as another thing that you might uh, be interested in, I do pet portraits. I absolutely love seeing the faces on the owners when they see their pet portraits. These are gifts that will last for a lifetime and 
they are cherished items. I just love doing it. So, and if you are interested in a pet portrait, please give me a call. It takes me about a month and a half to two months to get them done, but I only give them to you when you're satisfied. Just as a reminder, I'm in here from Tuesday to Saturday. I'm 10 to 5. I uh, hope you'll come at 4.30 instead of 5. But if you need a special appointment, I'd be more than happy to do that for you too. So again, uh, I depend on business, so come on out and let's see what we can do about making this the best art gallery in Frederick. And my contact information is 301-639-6657, and you can email me at Condon G at MSN.com. That's C O N D O N G at MSN.com. I do have a website and it is GWC artwork.com. If you enjoy local content like this, please like, comment, and share this video. If you own a local business, please join us.